here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 With all the excitement of that night, Sniff decided not to go home and was sharing Moomin's bed. Snufkin, as always, preferred to sleep in his tent. You remember what happened? The horrible groak coming after Thingamy and Bob and everything freezing? For Moomin, however, the night wasn't quite over yet. Good morning, Moomin. Is Sniff up yet? Ha, you're joking. Where are Thingamy and Bob? They haven't stirred yet. The poor things are tired out. Papa's not still asleep, is he? No, he's looking at my rose bushes. Are they okay, Papa? No, frozen to death. And look. What? That's where she was standing, over there where the grass is dead. She must have been real cold to freeze the roses. What a shame. They were very pretty. Well, there's not much left of them now. We'll have to grow some new ones. I dreamed that she was chasing me, Papa. Oh, don't worry, Moomin. I think she's only after thing of me and Bob. So they're not fugitives from justice after all. I have a feeling that they would prefer that, Moomin. Aren't Thingamy and Bob coming down? They asked if they could have breakfast in their room, if you didn't mind. Well, what did they tell you? What? About why the Groke is chasing them. Oh, they just looked terrified and wouldn't say anything about her at all. You know, we really ought to find out why. Yes, you're right. Mum and Mama, why don't you take their breakfast up and see if they'll tell you anything. If any of us can get it out of them, you can. It's only me. I've brought you both a nice breakfast. Come in. Come 
Well, what did they say? It seems that the Groke is after the suitcase, not them. I wonder what's in it. Perhaps they've stolen her money as well. And they also said that it did used to belong to her. Oh, dear. If they've stolen it, uh... I don't know about that. I asked them how they got it, but they wouldn't say another word. Well, this is too much. We could be harboring criminals. I know they don't look like it, but you never know, do you? Hmm? You can ask the girl! Shh! Don't shout! No, that's no good. We, we, we don't want her coming back here, most definitely. Let's ask the police inspector to question them. We don't want to get the police involved. Will you suggest something, then? Quit shouting, Sniff! Look, why don't you just wait for them to tell you, Moomin? I know it seems strange, but I've noticed that if you pretend not to be interested, people can't wait to tell you their secrets. They told Mama about the suitcase, but they wouldn't say anything to Papa. You know something, Moomin? They might open up to Snork Maiden. She's someone more their own age. You could be right. Hey, Snork Maiden! Where are you going? Moomin House. I'll come with you. But I thought you were living there. I was, until Mumble came back yesterday. How is she? Bossy, and she snores too. Moomin! Snork Maiden! Where are you off to? Well, I was just on my way to see you. Oh, that's so nice. And I've come to see you, Moomin. I brought you a little present, Moomin. A present for me? Yes, and it's very beautiful. What is it? Something you must never break or lose. I promise I won't. There you are. Thank you. Go on, open it. Mm. Oh. What a beautiful shell! I spent all of yesterday on the beach searching for it, just for you. Look, we can see ourselves in it. So we can! Thank you very much, Snork Maiden. It's my heart, and I want you to look after it. Oh, I will, Snork Maiden, I will. I'll think of you whenever I look at it. Oh, Moomin. I promise you that I'll always kiss the shell before I go to sleep. It will be my most precious treasure. Apart from me? So what shall I do? Take them for a walk? Yes, but take your time and don't rush them. I'll let them cry on my shoulder. Yes, uh, try and talk to them as well, though. I feel very important and a little bit nervous, too. Have some tea first. Thank you, Moom and Mama. We don't need your help, little Mai. Ha, huh, that's what you think. I'd be able to wheedle out their secrets. It's not an interrogation. We only want to talk to them, you know. So you can wheedle out their secrets. I'll be very quiet. Little Mai, have you ever managed to be very quiet? Not really, but there's only one way to find out. You must let me go with Snork Maiden. No, this situation needs a tender understanding, woman. That's me, exactly! You ready? I suppose so. Hello, it's Moomin. Can I talk to you for a minute? Hello? Uh, this is Snork Maiden. She's a very good friend of mine. Hello, I'm very happy to meet you both. She's very tender and understanding, and she'd like to talk to you. Can she come in? Well, if she has to, Moomin. Yippee, 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 yippee. <laughs> it's very beautiful. A perfect heart shape. I've never seen anything like it, Moomin. Would you like one, Mama? No, my dear. There should only be one shell like this. Then would you keep it somewhere safe for me? Snowkin! I'm sure Snork Maiden will get it out of them. I do hope so. I think they liked her anyway. I have a feeling in my bones that Groke will be back tonight. Oh. If we could find out why she's after them, we'd know what to do. Mama won't have any garden left if that monster comes back every night. 
Moomin. Huh? <gasps> well done, Snork Maiden. Little Mai! Oh no, she'll ruin everything if we don't stop her. If you interfere, Little Mai, I'll never forgive you. What? Interfere? Me? Never. Look, let's just leave it up to Snork Maiden now, Little Mai. You'll need me if Snork Maiden's not tender and understanding enough. Hey, Moomin! <laughs> so, how is Snork Maiden getting on? Uh, taking them for a stroll, has she? Where are they? <laughs> If we were nearer... Papa, if we get much closer... And the last thing we want is for them to see us. Looks like I'll have to go and talk to them. You're all too big. I'll come back later and tell you what they said. No, don't. You'll upset Snort Maiden. You're the one who's upsetting her! Shh! All right. Can I ask you again about the suitcase? Yes! yes. Does that suitcase belong to you, or is it the Grokes? No. Oh, yes! No. Let's try it another way. Whose is that suitcase? It's, it's ours. ours. It's, it's ours. ours. But you told Moom and Mama that it wasn't yours. It was the Grokes. Yes, yes we, we did. did. Oh. Do you mind if I ask you one more time? Please, Please do. do. Right. Here we go. Now all I want is a simple yes or no. Is that suitcase yours or not? Yes. No, no, yes. Oh, oh, take your time, Snork Maiden, and don't rush them, he said. What, what was that, that Snork, Snork Maiden? Maiden? Look, I'm sorry, but can I ask you again? Yes, yes as many, many times, times as you want. want. Thank you. This is the very last time, so please tell me the truth. Now then, the suitcase. Yes. yes. You know which one? Yes. Does it belong to you? Yes, yes it, it does. does. So it's not the Grokes. Yes, yes it, it is not, not the Grokes. At last, we're getting somewhere. Praise the Booble. We're, we're very, very happy, happy for, for you. you. Snork Maiden is really having to work hard. I wouldn't have. I'd scare them into talking. You should have let me go. Yeah, but we wanted someone gentle. Snork Maiden is nice. <laughs> Everybody in this house is nice. Do you think they'd let us stay here? Of course, if we can keep away from the Grok. <laughs> it took a long time, but in the end they trusted me, and now we're good friends. Who wouldn't trust you and want to be good friends? Thank you. It wasn't easy, though. They kept speaking together and I all got rather muddled. But they did tell me somehow. Huh, rather muddled. I told you guys you should have let me do it. Oh, I'm afraid I didn't get very much, though. I knew you wouldn't. So, uh, what did you find out then, Snork Maiden? Huh? Tell us. Well, first of all, the suitcase does seem to be theirs. That was one thing they made very clear. Then how can the Grok... Just a minute, Moomin. What's in the suitcase, on the other hand, belongs to the Grok. That's the problem. Oh, dear. So they do have something belonging to a... Oh. Well, Snork Maiden, what is it? They wouldn't tell me what it is, little Mai, only that it is the most beautiful thing in the world. Oh, is it? I wonder. <clears throat> this is very difficult to understand. I mean, Thingamy and Bob don't look like thieves at all, do they? So, the Grok just wanted back what is hers. I don't see how that big ugly monster could own the most beautiful thing in the world. Well, what they said was that she just happened to have it. They didn't say whether it belonged to her or not. So she might have stolen it herself. They shouldn't have taken it, though. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Bob and Thingamy are very frightened of how she'll take her revenge if she catches them. But they're very determined to keep what's in the suitcase, Moom and Papa. Oh, this is a fine mess indeed. The Grok is sure to come back tonight. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We can do the same as before. Yeah, but it's not fair to drive her away if what's in the suitcase really does belong to her. She means to get the suitcase, and I don't think it will be so easy to get rid of her this time. And if she stays, we'll have a never-ending winter. 
Well, I'll cover up the petunias just in case. Are you all going to stay here? I'll look after Snork. I will, Moom and Mama. I'll stay. You'll stay, won't you, Snufkin? Don't look so glum, everyone. I've got an idea. But it would help if we knew what was in that suitcase. But even if we didn't, it could still work. Uh, what is it, dear? Just wait, Papa. You'll see. <laughs> She's coming. Just when I was winning. You better hide under the table, little Mai. Don't be stupid. How can I hit her with my rolling pin from there? Where is she, Papa? Exactly where she was yesterday. I'll go for her toes, all right, Papa? Let me go first, and then the rest of you can fan out behind me. <laughs> Moment, Mama. What is it, Papa? Perhaps now's the time to tell us your idea. We, we haven't long. <laughs> Wait, uh, Croak. <laughs> Don't go away. Uh, we want to talk to you. <laughs> We know that you've come back to get what Thingamy and Bob took from you. <laughs> that, that is right, isn't it, huh? Won't you let them keep it, uh, perhaps? <laughs> no, uh, will you sell it to them? Oh, dear. I have some very beautiful things here in my bag. Maybe you'd like to trade, Groke. What about this pendant? Isn't it lovely? So, you don't like that. Uh, what about this, then? Uh, or this? Oh. All right. Why don't you choose? Take anything you want from my handbag, except the hair slide. Which one do you want? This one? Let me see. Or this? Oh, this one? Oh dear, that's not really mine to give to you. Snork Maiden gave that to Moomin. Is it all right if I give the shell to her, Moomin? Oh! Mama, you leave her alone! Are you all right? Yes, my hand was suddenly frozen. Now you've got the shell, Mrs. Groke, do you promise not to come back anymore? Cause I'll get you if you do! <laughs> oh, 
that was a close thing. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> oh, you are marvelous, Mama. I'm so sorry, Moomin. I forgot that I had put your precious shell in my handbag to keep it safe. It's all right, Mama. You gave it in a good cause. What's Snork Maiden gonna say, Moomin? What? I heard you. You said you'd never go to sleep without kissing it. Or something equally stupid. Well, I'm not gonna tell Snork Maiden. But I think Mama did the right thing. She'll find out. I'm fed up with secrets. I'm always going to tell the truth from now on, no matter what. Oh. Moomin, Moomin! Look, I found one. Really? Well, it's very similar, but the one Snort Maiden gave me was much bigger. Oh, a lot bigger, was it? Moomin had decided that he had to find a shell that was exactly the same as the one Snork Maiden had given him. Then, with luck, she would never find out what he'd done with it. Nothing short of a miracle, isn't it? But then in Moomin Valley, miracles do happen. They love the laughter and they love the living, the Moomins. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the Moomins. They're always happy and always at play. The Moomins are having fun day after day. The Moomins, the Moomins. They love the laughter and they love the living. The Moomins, believing and sharing and caring and giving. The Moomins, they're always happy and always at play. The moons are having fun day after day. The moons, the moons, the moons.